One of the first real jobs that I ever had was doing door-to-door -door sales. The pay was strictly commissioned, so it was entirely possible to spend 60 hours working in a week just to make a grand total of nothing, not a dime. Now, luckily for me, the training that they provided was rather exceptional, and one particular concept has continued to stay with me till this very day. A concept so powerful that it has brought me massive success in all areas of my life. The Law of Averages. Now to understand this law and what it has to do with you, let me paint a picture of what exactly my job entitled. I sold telecommunication services, think TV, internet, and home phone. I would spend the majority of my day knocking on doors looking for potential buyers. There were three categories of people that I would meet throughout the day. The first was the most common. They were the hard-nosed customers. They loved their current provider. They had no issues with them and they did not want to hear your pitch. They were the same ones to chase you off their porch with their surprisingly large collection of pit bulls. True story, by the way. Now, only the best of the best salesmen could get them to buy. And even then, the rate of success would be extremely low. These guys made up about 80% of all consumers. Next up were the medium difficulty consumer. They were much less common than the hard consumers, and they made up about 10% of the consumer base. They were indifferent about their provider. They didn't love them. At the same time, they didn't really hate them either. There would always be one or two things that they wish could be improved upon, but for the most part, they weren't really looking to buy. However, they were willing to listen. The best of salesmen could close a decent amount of these guys, while the moderately good salesmen could also grab a couple. But if you were new to the game, you'd have a pretty hard time making the sale. And finally, there were the easy consumers. They were extremely rare, but they were straight out buyers. They were already having issues with their providers and were considering on changing but never really got around to it. If you as a salesperson were to find these people, no matter how bad of a salesperson you were, you basically had a sale. All you had to do was not screw up the paperwork. And the chances of finding these was about 1 in 100. Now, the law of averages states that the likelihood of certain events evens out if the frequency is increased. Which meant that if I spent an entire day bumping into only hard-nosed consumers, I was not to get discouraged. Because if I kept on knocking, I would eventually bump into an easy consumer. And this was very often did not the case. There's even one particular day which I remember extremely vividly. I had just finished training and I was finally out on the field on my own. I was in this humongous apartment complex with about 15 floors and over 300 doors. I spent 10 hours that day knocking on doors, getting yelled at left and right. In my head, I was thinking, law of average is my ass. It's all about the territory and the, the price of the product and the weather outside. You know what? I'm going to prove them wrong. I'm going to finish knocking on all the doors and I'm going to show them that the law of averages is a hoax. And when I got to the very bottom of this 15 floor complex, the last three doors, guess what? Were all easy customers back to back. They were practically begging to be switched over. I remember going home that day baffled by the power of the law of averages. And over the years working there, it only became more and more ingrained into my mindset. Now, what does the law of averages have to do with you? You don't do sales. Well, no matter what your goal is, you're going to bump into a large majority of hard rejections. A couple of indifferent rejections, ones that if you are skilled enough, you can win over. And once in a blue moon, you're going to bump into some opportunities that are literally just waiting for you to show up at their doorsteps. Whether it be in regards to your dating life, getting a job, or even getting recognition for your creative work, the large majority of people are going to reject you. What you have to keep in mind is, the more times you take action, the more times you get rejected, the closer you are to finding those who are excited to actually work with you. So if you want a girlfriend, you gotta go out there and approach more women. If you wanna get a decent job, all you have to do is apply to more places. And if you wanna get recognized for whatever creative expression that you tinker in, all you gotta do is keep on creating. Now don't worry if you bump into a wall of rejections early on, because that's how the game works. You're supposed to get rejected. Life is all a numbers game, and the odds are never going to be in your favor. But if you keep playing, you're going to win. And that, my friend, is the Law of Averages. Now, in our specific case with debt clearance, we have people at the top of the company present for us, so we got the best of the best. With that being said, all those people in yellow are potential signups. So your only job is to get people on the call. If you get 50 people in front of this opportunity, you're going to get two to three sales out of 10 based on the law averages. So 50 people will bring at least 
10 people. And, and this is just my opinion, but I think you'll get more than that. So if you're really willing to do what it takes to be successful, then your job should be bringing 50 people to the call so you can run the numbers and then teach that to your team. And that should be the expectation when they first sign up. The people that is willing to do it, that's where your attention should be focused at. I hope that helps.